Okay, so we're gonna be talking about the final announcement trailer for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. The last 25 character slots that are going to be revealed in the upcoming trailer for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero and how it is going to disappoint the entire Dragon Ball community. A lot of people are raising your expectations. They're, they're getting your hopes up. They're trying to hype you. And I'm going to give you the actual truth of who is going to be in the final release trailer. The final reveal trailer for Dragon Ball Spark Zero. So let's all say it with the end game of all games. Perfection and natural selection. You might beat the game, but nobody beats the end game. So we're going to dive right into it. And of course, as you notice, the last character trailer theme was Majin Buu Saga. So of course, this is going to be all Dragon Ball Super and we have multiple points of evidence with missing characters that we know for a 100% fact are going to be in the game that haven't been revealed so we already know this next reveal trailer is going to be Dragon Ball Super centric Dragon Ball Super only and we have multiple arcs to cover with Dragon Ball Super this is what a lot of people don't get we have more than just the term of the power and we're going to start off with the main arc that has not been covered at all the resurrection of f arc and this is going to piss a lot of people off because we're going to start with the bad news and we have resurrection of f gohan tracksuit gohan base form that is going to be the next reveal character for dragon ball spark zero i don't want to hear anyone doubt what i'm saying Every other Gohan has appeared in this game. Kid, Teen, Future, multiple variants of the Majin Buu Saga Gohan. So they are not skipping out on any version of Gohan. And that unfortunately means we're going to get another Gohan in this trash ass game. Base form Resurrection of F Gohan is coming to Dragon Ball Super uh, for the Dragon Ball Super area of Dragon Ball Spark Hero. And of course, with that, you are going to get another slot taken up by Resurrection of F Gohan, which is Resurrection of F Super Saiyan Gohan, because he did go Super Saiyan against Frieza. So that is a big major moment for Resurrection of F Gohan. That's why they're going to have him. That, that was like the wake up call for Gohan to start training again. So there's no reason they're going to skip out on Resurrection of F. They're going to have that. And you can already basically sign off on that. They're going to have Resurrection of Gohan in this game. Whether anybody likes it or not. I don't like this game at all. But for those of you that had your hopes up for GT. That's out the window now. Because we're going to go into the slots that I know a lot of people are not going to like. Resurrection of F Goku. And Resurrection of F Vegeta. Yeah, we already got 13 or 14 Gokus or Vegetas, but we don't have, and this is a major point for Goku and Vegeta. This is Resurrection of F, new outfits. Well, I know someone's going to say in the comment section, they'll just make those outfits. Everything else they shown as character slots could have been made outfits. They're going to have these characters as character slots. Resurrection of F Goku and Resurrection of F Vegeta. And Resurrection of F Goku base form definitely because this is going to be them going from base straight to blue. So you're going to have, again, Resurrection of F Goku, Resurrection of F Goku Super Saiyan Blue. It could get grimier, but in this listing, I'm only counting the Super Saiyan Blue variants and the base form variants. So Super Saiyan Blue, uh, Goku, Resurrection of F. They're going to have Resurrection, Super Saiyan Blue Goku just so they can have the one inch punch as a ultimate or a super attack. That's a major moment for Goku and Vegeta, the Resurrection of F arc. This is the reappearance of Frieza, uh, the debut of Golden Frieza, which they, they've already gotten him in the game already. But with Resurrection of F, Goku and Vegeta and Super Saiyan Blue, uh, definitely Goku has the most improvements going on here because he showed the most during that encounter for them to just make a half-assed moveset out of. Uh, and then on top of it, aside from Vegeta, Goku is going to get a transformation slot for Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken. And I know people are going to say, well, he has that as a blast one skill or whatever the hell on his other slot. Nah, they're going to have this as a transformation just so they can rip off a Dragon Ball fighter. So Goku is going to be taking three slots. And that's just because of his encounter with Hit. 
and him debuting Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. That's the only reason they're going to have that as an extra slot, even though logically it shouldn't be. It just will be. So Resurrection of F base form, Super Saiyan Blue, and Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken, they could potentially get grimier. And because I think he at least used Super Saiyan 1 in this particular outfit. So they could get grimier and have that on there too. We don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I am at least noting Super Saiyan Blue and Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken and of course base. Now with Vegeta, it's a lot less cumbersome because they're going to have base form as Super Saiyan Blue. That's all he showed in that particular outfit. So they have no reason to do any more with this character in that outfit. So that is going to be it for Vegeta. It's not really anything that he did iconic in that outfit. It's just that that, that outfit... Uh, it covered at least two arcs, if I'm not mistaken. It covered Resurrection of F and the Tournament of Destroyers arc. And speaking of Tournament of Destroyers, we have those specific characters we have to discuss because, of course, everyone has noted, and this is what makes people know that Dragon Ball Super is the next theme for the final reveal trailer. We have Base Form Kaba, Super Saiyan Kaba, and Super Saiyan 2 Kaba. That's self-explanatory. At this point, we pretty much covered nine slots. That's already gone. That's half of them gone on characters you know for a fact are going to be in this game. Kaba is going to be in this game. He's not going to be DLC. He is going to be the Dragon Ball Super giving for this pathetic ass game. He covers two major uh, arcs in Dragon Ball Super being determined of destroyers. And of course, his uh, ascension to Super Saiyan 2 with determined of power. So... But all three of those slots are going to be Kaba. So now we're up to nine slots gone of that sacred little 25. Uh, going on from that, it does appear as though they're going to have the other forms of Frost. So first form Frost, or the form that looks like first form Frieza. Second form Frost, that looks like third form Frieza. And final form Frost, the final form of Frost, that looks like final form Frieza. Uh, again, same as Kaba, appeared in the term of Destroyers, and he has a major moment in the term of Power. There's no reason to doubt that these characters aren't going to appear. All those different slots for Frost had major battles with Goku and Vegeta and Piccolo. So, yeah, they're going to use that as an excuse to pad this pathetic ass roster out. And at this point, we're sitting at about, I think, 12 slots already gone just from covering things that we know for a 100% Fact 100. I know all the characters on this selection are going to be in this game, but everyone else, uh, yeah, everyone else, a lot of the people in the Dragon Ball community have already noted these characters, but they didn't go as deep as I went because we're going to go even deeper into the Resurrection of F arc, and I'm going to say they're going to put in Togoma. Now, Togoma is a major, I mean, he's not like the biggest part of Resurrection of F, but you got to remember. This is the part where Ginyu finally gets dealt with. If you remember in the anime, uh, Ginyu shows up, switches body from the frog, and takes the body of Togoma. So of course they're gonna go ahead and feature Togoma just for that. Just for that, and just to say, that, well hey, Togoma wasn't in Xenoverse 2, we're throwing him in Sparking Zero, please buy our piece of trash game. They're definitely gonna do put Togoma in there just for that reason just to give Captain Ginyu or the voice actor for Captain Ginyu another piece of work. They might skip base Togoma and just cover the transformed ginyu eyes Togoma, or they might just go ahead and, and just do base form Togoma. But Togoma is going to be in the game, 100%, no doubt. So that's 13. Those are 13 of those 25 coveted slots. Now this is where things are gonna get a little bit tricky because we're descending into the term of power. This is where uh, those last final 12 slots are going to come into a lot of contention. But again, these are things that we can see evidence of on the grid that's appeared already that we know for a fact is going to go in the game. Now, we're going to get the first obvious one out the way. God of Destruction Topo. We all know he's going to be added into this pathetic game. There's no reason to doubt that God of Destruction Topo is definitely going to be a lot for this game. Uh, argue that if you want to at your own parable everyone knows that character's coming dispo supersonic speed form that's definitely going to be a transformation for this game 
It is going to take up another slot. It's pretty much an easy way of them padding out this game even further. So the next characters is where the hit disappointment is really going to be setting in because these are the Universe 6 Namekians, Salnil and Polina. They're definitely going to be added into this game as like, oh look, Xenoverse 2 doesn't have these characters even though a lot of people do not want them. But definitely Salnil and Polina are definitely going to pad out this roster as additional Namekian characters. Uh, they also are going to get in the game because they're a major battle for Piccolo and Gohan in the Tournament of Power. A big tag team moment for them. So, of course, they're going to take this as an opportunity to make this their first in-game appearance on consoles. We're going to bounce back to the Tournament of Destroyers because technically this is going to be the first debut for those characters. But they, they're very forgettable and it's kind of uh, telling of how little I care about this game and this pathetic trash ass roster. But I forgot about Magetta and Botamo. These two characters, they haven't debuted in Xenoverse 2 and they're going to pretend like this is a big deal. And even Xenoverse 2 doesn't have Magetta and Botamo and Selena or Salnil and Polina and nobody really cares about those characters. But Magetta was a major battle for Vegeta, and they do seem to be glazing Vegeta and sparking Zero. So, of course, they throw Magetta in. And Botamo, too, like, again, they, they're going to try to make them the the, the big, like, uh, defining moment of the, of the term of the Destroyer. So, of course, they're going to throw them in the game. Uh, but these last few slots here, they're, this is what gonna, what's going to piss people off a lot. But they haven't shown everything for Kale and Khalifla. Now, it's confusing because for Khalifla, they have shown Super Saiyan 2, but they haven't shown Super Saiyan. So, she's going to get Super Saiyan. It's either or. Either she's already shown Super Saiyan and hasn't shown Super Saiyan 2, and they're, gonna, they're basically going to fill in the blanks with her. She's going to get Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan 2. She does have two more or one more slot to be revealed. I think it's technically Super Saiyan, but it is what it is. The next one is going to be Super Saiyan 2 Kale, because they've only shown Berserk form, base form, and I think Super Saiyan 1, but just like Xenoverse 2, uh, Kale has Super Saiyan 2 where she has the shorter green hair. So that's going to be another slot that they waste for that character in this pathetic ass game. Now, the other one that's going to disappoint people, but it is a major battle between Goku and Khalifla. They are going to have uh, Super Saiyan Grade 3 Khalifla. But that's a major moment where Goku schools Khalifla on using an inefficient form like that, trying to outpower him. Like, they are going to throw that in the game as like a, oh, look, Xenoverse 2 doesn't have this to offer. Please buy our pathetic trash little game. Now, we're getting into that last slot here, and I'm going to give you an option because both of these characters are going to make it in with all likelihood. Uh, but there's only one slot left, and it could go either or. So I, I really have number 25 as a either or. Either you're going to get pure progress hit, because he did transform against Goku in the Term of Destroyers arc. And they just haven't announced it formally yet. Or you're going to get another joke character with Jocko. Which again, he's Resurrection of F. But this would cover everything that is not shown currently for Dragon Ball Super. And it would be the wrap up culmination for everything that was supposed to be focused on with Z and Super. Remember, they've said before that Sparking Zero is focused in on Z and Super. So this is the final little Dragon Ball Super reveal. All 25 slots accounted for. Everything I revealed in this. Oh, no. Actually, we have one more character reveal. We were at 24, so per pure progress hit or Jocko, but there is one last slot that we have left to reveal, number 25, and it's the most disappointing character that you know for a fact is going to get in. I'm going to give you a little second to try to guess who it is. I'm going to give you five seconds. It's Terminal Power Tracksuit Android 18. If they will waste time putting her in Dragon Ball Multi 
and Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is DLC. They're pushing this character. I don't know why they're doing it. They're pushing this ugly ass tracksuit. I think it's a form of censorship, honestly. I think that's why they're trying to normalize the tracksuit 18 over her regular red ribbon army gear or even the uh, outfit. I think she was wearing a purple shirt in the beginning portions of Dragon Ball Super, but Terminal of Power 18 is going to be the final slot that gets revealed for Sparking Zero. It does have, she does have different moves. They are focusing on tag team moves. So that's what Pendulum Bullet is going to be. It's going to be a tag team move instead of how it is in Xenoverse 2. Uh, she also is going to have her Xenoverse 2 move set over here on Spark Zero in this trash ass game. But of course they're going to take this opportunity to waste up a slot on a pathetic ass character like this. Yeah, those are your 25 characters for Dragon Ball, fuck face, sparkling water, bum fuck, coochie lick, sparking zero. Resurrection of F Gohan, base. Resurrection of Gohan, Super Saiyan. Resurrection of F Goku. Resurrection of F Goku SSB. Resurrection of F Goku SSB Kaioken. Resurrection of F base form Vegeta. Resurrection of F SSB Vegeta. Uh, Kaba. Kaba SSJ. Kaba SSJ2. First form Frost. Third form Frost. Final form Frost to Goma. Either as Ginyu or as himself. God Destruction Topo. Dispo. Speed of Sound. Supersonic. Whatever you want to call that form. Okay. Saunel and Polina. Vegeta, Botamo, uh, Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa, depend upon whichever one is not currently shown on the grid. We don't know. They don't show the little lightning effect, so you know which one it is definitively. Uh, grade 3 Super Saiyan Ascended Khalifa, Super Saiyan 2 Kale, and Pure Progress Hit or Jocko. Those are going to be your character reveals with the icing on top of this disappointing tooth toothpaste flavored trash ass cake called sparking zero the term of power tracksuit 18 this is a pathetic 25 slots they're about to reveal but you know for a fact everyone i've named on this list is going to appear in this pathetic ass game try to deny what i've revealed in this video you can't you know it's the truth you know as well as i that these are going to be the characters that get revealed in the final trailer. And then you can commence to hating this pathetic game for having no GT, no OG Dragon Ball, right? No OG Dragon Ball, and no Z movie characters. And with that, you will never beat the end game of all games. You might beat the game, but you'll never beat the end game perfection and natural selection. My word is a universal law. And you'll see that in the final trailer for Sparking Trash Zero. See you in the next video.